Hi everyone, Angus Campbell here. It's Halloween 2024, October 31st. And as you saw, I've just been uh, finishing off a, a few little jobs, oiling, etc. So you know what that means, don't you? Yep, it's time. Now, the only thing to know is I think the spark looks a little bit weak. So what I am going to do as another final job is just check that timing. Check that the stator plate is the requisite distance from the rotor. Just check the timing again and then uh, then we'll give it a go. Right, well, this is actually a day or two later because uh, I got tied up with other things. But I'm back on with the bonnet. So what I've done is I've checked the ignition timing on the tri-spark. And I've also more accurately um, measured the distance between the face of the timing rotor with the back of the stator and uh, it was a bit too large. So I've adjusted that. So it's within tolerance, i.e. two millimeters, plus or minus 0.6 of a millimeter. And um, check spark again, we're getting a lovely spark now. And um, I have to be honest, I got a bit carried with me, away with myself and uh, tried to start it. Didn't have any joy, not even firing. So I then checked the carb settings just to make sure I'd got those right and I hadn't uh, adjusted the air screw, pilot air screw properly to, uh, I think it should be around about one and a quarter turns as standard, but I'll check that shortly. But uh, it was, uh, they were both set to more than two, two and a quarter, two and a half, ridiculous. So I've adjusted those and I gave it another kick and it fired up briefly. So uh, I'm going to try and, repeat that now with the camera on so i'm just going to tickle it no choke ignition on and then we'll give it a go i say it only ran for about five seconds or so but it did run and uh, the motor was very quiet actually so it's good remember that uh, i've already primed the oil etc so when i kick it over the oil light's going out so we've got plenty of oil pressure which is great right here we go Another tickle both sides. I haven't got any choke on at the moment because these very really need it. Ignition on. Fired. Fired again. Fired up on two and then went on one. But anyway, she runs. So what we'll do is um, definitely fired up on two and then went on to one. So I think it's fuel. Um, but we'll check spark anyway. I didn't have any choke on then. So we'll take the plugs out, check spark, and we'll take it from there. Again, she's not off. Right, bring you back shortly. Progress. Right, the plugs are out. We're getting a, a massive spark at each spark plug, so that's all good. So it's got to be down to uh, to fuel, I think. Unless, unless I didn't um, Gap the tappage properly, but I'm getting good uh, good compression on, on both cylinders when I kick it over, so I'm, I'm sure that's not it. It's definitely, uh, I think it's definitely fuel. 
uh, but, but it'll be easy enough to determine one side or the other. It's running, running well on one cylinder, that's for sure. I have just noticed though that um, just kicking it over to uh, test spark and things like that, the uh, oil pressure warning light is staying on now, um, which it didn't before. Um, so maybe I've got a bit of an airlock in the line. And we've got to bear in mind, this has got a Charlie's filter on the bottom of that um, spine frame. So I'm just wondering whether the Penrite oil that I'm using might be a bit thick for that. But um, I'll do a little bit of research on that. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll just let it sit and uh, see if, you know, just the uh, the head of oil in the tank, which is full to uh, to the max. Um, maybe we'll just push that air out a little bit, but we'll see. So what I'll do is I'm going to leave it there, actually. And I'll come back, hopefully, in the not-too-distant future with a final wrap-up video on this. But uh, anyway, albeit briefly, you heard it run. So uh, she lives again. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Thanks for your interest, comments, and any subscriptions. See you all again soon, and we'll count that as completion list done.